Hey everyone, it's Bill Roberts and I'm down in the Weather Center with Rhonda Shelby once again. And Rhonda, uh, looks like it might be a little noise on uh, tap for tomorrow. Yep, for tomorrow we could see some thunderstorm activity, especially in the afternoon, and that's all because we have a front coming in later today. So really, this is really not a bad morning into the afternoon. We've probably got maybe four or five more, six more rain-free hours, depending on when you're watching this video. But here's what to expect. As you head out the door and you uh, go out to work or wherever you're going today, I think you will be dry until at least 3 p.m. PM, and then that's when the rain will return into the valley. But the difference between this storm system and the last one that came through is there's a huge batch of cold air that's going to roll in overnight tonight and tomorrow, drop the snow level down to 2,500 feet. So we'll get some nice snow in the Cascades again, but we could also see thunderstorms. So uh, hail, uh, heavy lightning or thunder could come through in the afternoon in spots. Friday doesn't look too bad. A um, couple more showers, maybe some more snow showers in the Cascades. We're looking about another foot to a foot and a half up there. Uh, then the weekend. Weekend looks good. I think we're talking about 60s. This part hasn't changed. It, it still looks like we're going to be dry on both days and maybe approaching 70 on Sunday. Wow. Yeah. I was looking at the uh, site for uh, Timberline. 200 inches of snow. Yeah, and just 16 inches fell yesterday, and I would be shocked if there was another half a foot to a foot by the time you wake up and take a look at the results again tomorrow at the Timberline website, and maybe six inches on top of that into Friday, so the rain, or the, the snow just continues to fall up in the Cascades. Ski Rack is staying on the car. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rhonda.